about my first vlog uh, this week I will be going to Kulu for work so I'm going to take you guys with me so I've just finished packing I haven't packed everything but I've packed most of it so that I don't have to do like emergency packing tomorrow in case I get up late or something like most of the stuff is done but there's some stuff I have to use like in the morning as well so that's the most that's happening I have a little targeted mask going on in some problem areas my absolute worst problem area is my chin yeah so yeah I see you guys see you guys tomorrow getting some things finished hi yeah. <laughs> this is she's Susan my... this is and she's my workmate yeah and and to show you what I'm wearing it's like I'm actually wearing sneakers I'm only, I'm only wearing sneakers because they are so comfortable they don't squeeze my leg but it's coming to two and we are just now setting off from Kulu yeah been quite a wait has editing one of my videos as I waited and now I have an absolute headache I don't look great in shadows, <laughs> like in the dark. Now we must do lunch. And it must be outside. Me and your guy, but I'm that annoying person where by everybody could have to move a car, they all went to the bathroom. And then I went to do everything else. And when everyone's in the car, I'm like, guys, I've got the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not even going to look back. I don't want to see how everyone's looking at me. I'm just walking ahead with a mission. <laughs> Right? I don't even like need to go to the bathroom but like when you're traveling you take every opportunity because you never know. I hope they're not hooting. Um, the guy didn't pick up. 
he had a room but like he didn't pick up and at this time like rooms are fully booked so i just had to get one lest i don't have where to sleep i'm so tired let me just talk as i do something so i don't like filming at night because the light is never right like with my phone and i don't like the light that this phone has because it's yellow and like what's that about i'll have to i'll have to get an artificial light which i also don't like because i don't look good in artificial light like the sun is my jam oh my gosh so got this water from an interesting place i entered and i saw honey then i saw ghee then i saw roast coffee in a machine but then i smelled ice cream then i also saw wine like this is just all the stuff that this place had it was like a small place but it had so much to offer and it really smelled yummy yeah and it's like a milkshake menu like mochas milkshakes cappuccinos stuff I am taking off my sneakers. So, huh, I never travel in sneakers because my feet are swollen, but these, these shoes are really comfy. Apparently, I wear a size 40. I'm not worn clothes shoes in, you know, over 10 years. So, I wear a size 40 when I'm finding out. And these really cute socks. But my sister, I'm going to, I'm going to show you up close. Oh. Yeah, let me, let me show you the socks. Mm, they're so cute and blankety. They're like a blanket on the inside. And they have like this for your heel. I love them. I love them, I love them. Ooh, so. Ooh, nasty sight. Okay, so I have to scratched i have to wind down um i have a meeting at what time in 11 minutes i have a, a prayer zoom call so as i wait for that i'm just going to unpack i'm going to lay the bed with my own sheets that i packed cover the pillow with my own pillowcase because my skin is sensitive and i react a lot especially when i go up like up country like districts other districts in uganda and my skin just freaks out so i'm not going to risk that mm, really thirsty i'm going to wind down to my skincare routine ah pray the prayer meeting yeah and just like relax and thank god i'm here and i made it and yeah and then I also have to pray personally, like not just in the prayer meeting, I have to pray personally because all those hours in travel, thank you Jesus that I made it, I didn't have any kind of accident or anything. You whisper Good morning So gently in my ear I'm coming back to you, baby I'll soon be there Hey, good morning. I am... Um at 6 45 a.m apparently 6 45 a.m in Gulu is bright like you can think you got up way later than that so i'm just waiting for jared to come pick me up so that we can have breakfast and go to the hotel where we're going to have our trainings but i also need to look for another place to sleep because this place has a shower and a bathroom but it didn't have like running water but that happens a lot when you go up country you just can't know if there was no water in the area or if the person that owns the accommodation place just turned it off to save 
money like to restrict how much we can use so i have to change that place Yeah, I just wanted to collect my thoughts because my head was going a little bit insane. It's actually quite a beautiful space, beautiful gardens. Yes, I just came to sit here, contemplate and think. And when I have things going in my head, I need to write it down to sort of like, like have a perspective from outside, if that makes sense. Of course, it's still me still my perspective but <sighs> those little notebooks that hotels give you when you go there i will not share them for this hotel because i'm not particularly enjoyed coming here so i'm not advertising yeah but i'm just going to jot down my thoughts Okay, let's get deep. Just been writing and like, I feel like I'm having a serious mental dilemma, which I always feel like I'm having. So like I wrote under like the little headings, why am I sad? Why do I feel these things? Why do I feel this way? And you know, pretty much what does God have to say about it? So. Uh, what I'm sad right now to quote Jane, I am, have no prospects no married have no kids I'm not doing a masters, I haven't been accepted for masters anywhere, up until recently I didn't know what masters I wanted to do I am failing career wise, I am unemployed in a country of god knows how many million youths and I was just like, what is going on with my life yeah so i read stuff like i'm scared i have no future i'm scared that like i'll pretty much fail at any job i might because for some reason that's what's going on in my mind like if you've been here for two years and these guys don't see any value in you to 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 keep you or to resign you then like did you do a good job yeah and then i just went early yeah i feel like i have no contribution they went a little bit crazy and I said, I feel like I'll suffer for life. Yeah. So then I read down some of the stuff, like where I feel this way. I think what God had to say about it. And well, as like God would say, my thoughts reflect my lack of trust in him. Mm, I lack faith that he will, you know, accomplish things in my life. We have different priorities because I believe that God's priorities and my own man's priorities are are really different. I was going to say hella different, but and then I am not living life guided by the word, so I can't finish this all right now. Yeah, I'll think more about it later on. If I go to bed, like I'll actually sit down and do some writing and like open my Bible and try to pray these things away. guess I'm really tired like super super tired brief summary of the day yesterday was a travel day today was day one in Gulu we had the training at the hotel I had my mini breakdown episode uh, after the training we went shopping like it was like a utensils cutlery People bought like flask cups and stuff. Uh, then we went to some place and had um, fish, pork, and beers. And then we got into a whole conversation about 
marriage and standards in marriage and at what point would you leave your husband or wife or are you pro-faithful there so do you not believe that people can be faithful in relationships and then the conversation actually at the beginning turned to me because someone was telling me how I'm not sensitive with my words like I speak like commentary I say what's happening but I should be like sensitive to how someone else will take it yeah so now for the rest of the trip I have to be like well technically I should be like this for the rest of life but yeah I need to I need to learn to be a quiet person I know the, the, the point isn't like be quiet the point is be sensitive but I can't be sensitive naturally it's easier for me to keep quiet than to think about what I'm going to say how you're going to take it how to rephrase it like it's such a long process so I'd rather just say nothing at all so I guess that's how the rest of good trip is going to be I need to be silent so I'm back in my room I'm going to attend my prayer meeting which I'm like 10 minutes late for as I just get undressed and probably will shower and yeah, and, and pray and sleep uh, and I have to write down uh, my dreams for last night because I have a to written them down in my dream journal guys good night see you tomorrow <laughs> guys I have no idea my mouth is moving like that I'm just writing down my dreams hey 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 so I am I'm back in the compound where I was yesterday having my little mental breakdown and <laughs> we thought I'd make it a full circle moment and just come back to the same place because today I'm feeling a lot better um, I, I, I prayed this when, when I had to pray this morning because part of a prayer group and we have days just not everyone has to pray like twice a week like lead the prayer or something yeah and I realized the problem is not even my life like even if a thousand things that aren't right are happening to you you know a whole bunch of things happened to Paul that like he documented about in the Bible in the end you know we are we are hard pressed but we are not crushed like all, 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 all those things so the problem sometimes is just you know your attitude the problem is your mind the problem is who is your foundation are you standing on Christ or are you standing on your situations around you are you standing on like like okay you have a great job you make a great amount of money everything of this is planned but if your foundation if your root is not jesus christ then anything can happen anything can happen to that job anything can happen to that marriage like literally anything can happen but christ stays the same god stays the same always and forever he's the only actual rock you should have so me being sad about circumstances just shows where my mind is at shows that i had gotten too comfortable I'm getting too comfortable with like like work and stuff like that but sometimes it's time for a change sometimes things are just happening sometimes you're being tested sometimes you know the devil is having fun with you but if you stand firm in Christ then that's anything that matters so uh, people are having break tea right now I'm just going to go write down my prayer the verse for today is ask and it will be given knock and the door will be open that verse so i just want to like write a prayer of gratitude yeah so i just wanted to like let you know not like you shouldn't live like oh this girl is depressed man those times happen but it's just a reminder like okay i'm feeling like this and then like those are my guiding questions why am i feeling like this what led to this always what does good and the word of god have to say about it and then you test and see test your actions according to the scriptures test and then like you realize you have strayed somewhere because god does not stray god remains the same so sometimes when you're feeling off you have to check you know am i reading my word am i praying how is my relationship with god and then you'll see that for you are going like this yet the way yeah, the way to god is narrow yeah, it's, like, it's, it's like this full stop there's no right or left all right um that's the update i don't think i'm gonna update you in the training because like why bye bye for now Ah, yesterday I was so 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 tired I did not do a thing I just went back to my room the electricity was out throughout Gulu so I was really tired and today today is the last day of the training so I haven't had much fun honestly it's alright it's a good morning 
not much fun however you know, i enjoyed the whole process of freaking out remembering god reading my bible i've had lots of bible study i mean my bible this morning though so i'll do that at some point today if i get that time because the training and at lunch time it's a half day training today we are leaving people are boarding boarding they're putting their stuff in that car yeah they were going to leave Golo. six hours probably hopefully less can't be less than four but can be six this was probably a disaster and yeah. done Where is Chelsea? and heading well. back Hey, he's getting married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom. So, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Bye to Gulu.